Hello and welcome to part six of our Invaders or Space Invaders styled video game where we're going to be learning how to import and apply multi multimedia. So right now we have a couple things going on. We have our player that can fire our alien and gain a point, but we're just using basic rectangles and blocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to import three different types of multimedia. Images to replace our rectangles with pictures fonts to replace our boring fonts with interesting fonts, and sound effects to actually play things like background music, noise when we fire a rocket, noise when we collide with an alien. So first thing we need to do is we actually need to upload our multimedia. So I'm going to go to my files menu here, and we can actually select files that you need to pre-download to your computer. So I've already downloaded a bunch of images to my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead, these are not just images, I should say, they're images, sounds, effects, aliens, and pretty much any font or any, uh, any type of image and file format will work. So you can go ahead and hit open to upload all your files. As long as the name changes from gray to this pinkish red, it worked properly. If it stays gray, that type of file is incompatible, try to download a different one. Once you have your files uploaded, we need a variable for each form of multimedia or each piece of multimedia that we are going to use. So we're going to make a section called multimedia and I'm going to make another section called images. So I'm going to make a variable called player image and they're not going to be equal to a number. We're actually going to associate player image with the picture of the player over here in a little bit here. We're going to start with variables. So I need player image, I need alien image, I need, uh, let's say, now I think I just need fonts. I'm not going to do a rocket image. So I'm going to say fonts. I'm going to do var title font, var body font, and then sounds. I'm going to need uh, var fire sound, var explosion sound. At var background music. I think that's all I need for now. So I'm going to copy these variables here just so I have them. And where you do the association, so saying that player image is actually equal to the player ship image, we do that in a new function called preload. So let's scroll all the way down, very bottom of our code, below your last function here, and we're going to make a new function called preload, that is one word, so no capitals, preload, lowercase l. Close preload, and because I'm being lazy, I'm actually going to paste these variables, but I don't want the var declaration here. Okay, so I don't want the var declaration, I just want the variable names. And I got lots of error messages here because I'm doing this in a lazy way. Okay, what we need to do is we need to say that each of these variables are equal to loading the image we want. So instead of having to type out the long image name each time, so instead of having to type out player underscore ship dot PNG each time we want it, we just type player image. So for the images, we say player image is equal to load image, two words, so capital I. And then in single quotations, I need to type the name of my image. So it's player underscore ship dot PNG and it's super important that this is spelled exactly the same as it is over here. Punctuation, capitalization, it's got to be identical. Alien image is going to be load image, uh, let's see, alien.png. Title font is going to be equal to load font pixel underscore bubble underscore font dot TTF. Body font is going to be load font pixel underscore font dot TTF. Fire sound is going to be load sound 8 bits underscore pew dot m four a explosion sound is going to be equal to 
load sound eight bit underscore explosion dot m4a and background music is going to be equal to load sound eight bits underscore uh, let's see let's see let's see what do I have song eight bit underscore song dot mp3 Okay, double check all your spelling and then press play. If you get an error message, it might be because you have a definition is wrong. Now you're gonna get a sound error message because by default sounds are not compatible with processing. We actually need to enable our sound library and that's super easy to do. Go to the sketch tab and you can see p5.sound right here. Check the box, then press save. Now when I press play, I shouldn't get any error messages at all. If you're stuck with a white screen, but no errors, that means that it can't find one of your files. So let's double check to make sure I did everything correctly here. Usually that means that one of the files cannot be found. So I'm gonna double check all my spelling, player underscore ship dot PNG, alien dot PNG, pixel underscore bubble underscore font.ttf pixel underscore font.ttf 8-bit underscore pew. Oh, I just realized the issue was these 8 bits are supposed to be lowercase b's. Let's press play. Excellent. So I can't see anything because we haven't applied any of our images yet, but no errors, no white screens. Let's press save. Let's start with the images. I'm gonna to scroll to where I actually drew the rectangles of my shapes here. So this is where I drew my alien rectangle. And instead of drawing a rectangle command, I'm actually gonna use the image command. Now the image command needs five parameters instead of the rectangle command that needs four. It needs the X, the Y, the width and the height. So all that's gonna remain the same, but the first parameter actually has to be the name of the image, which is alien image. So I'm going to add image, and I'm gonna add alien image, comma, A1X, A1Y, A width, A height. Let's press play. And now I have an alien instead of my rectangle. Same thing for the player. So I'm going to go to where I drew my player. I'm gonna replace the rectangle with image. And then the first parameter of player, image. And let's press play. That's good, but it doesn't look like my image is in the right location. And that's because we need to set our image mode to be centered, just like we did our rect mode. So image mode center. Let's press play. Excellent. My missile is now centered with my ship. And if I press S, I can still, ooh, I missed, fire at my alien. Let's do our fonts. So I uploaded two fonts. You don't have to do two, you can always do one. And right here, I have my score and I have my actual score. I want my title font to be for the word score. So I'm gonna say text font title font. And then I want my body font for my number. So I can change between my fonts like this, title font for this, body font for this. Let's press play. All right, we have to change our sizing just a little bit here. Let's make our title font a little bit smaller. Let's try making everything a little bit smaller. See what it looks like. That right, looks much better. Let's go ahead and just see what a number one looks like. Beautiful. I think we can make this maybe a little bit bigger. We'll try 20 for this one. Sex size 15 for this guy. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna move the number over just a bit. Perfect. Now we have our sound effects. The sound effects, you just place them wherever you'd like to play. So I need to place a sound effect when I wanna fire my missile. Let's scroll down to be where fire is true right here. Function key typed. This is when fire equals equals true. 
So that's when our missile actually has to be fired. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna place our sound effect right here. And right when fire equals true, we're gonna say that fire sound dot play. Let's give this a try. Perfect. Now I wanna add a couple more sound effects here. So I want to add the sound effect from when we actually collide with our alien. That's the explosion sound. So right here, this is where we hit the alien. I'm going to say explosion sound dot play. Let's give that a try. Beautiful. And now I just want to play my background music. Now the background music actually has to go inside of our function uh, function setup here. If we put the background music in draw, it would just never ending, kind of just restart, restart, restart. So background audio, this is going to be background music dot play. Let's give it a shot. Perfect. Come on over here. Lovely. 